as we come to you with another sermon. Today's sermon is going to be about battling for Christ, being in God's army. Last weekend was Easter weekend, the weekend that this nation sets aside to celebrate what our God did for us, for our friends, for this whole country. That Jesus came, lived a life, the same life that we live, was sinless in this sinful world, then died on a cross to take our punishment and our sins so that we could be in heaven. He died, went to hell, but he's alive today. He rose. And that's what we celebrated last Sunday. We know that he is on the right hand side of God. He is there telling God we're not as bad as what we are. That he took our sins for us. All we have to do is confess Jesus Christ as our Savior and follow his teachings. That's it. Today we're going to be talking about being in God's army. What it really means to be a soldier for God. But before we get into that, I have a prayer list for us. People who want prayer, who needs prayer. We may not know these people, but they're Christians. And as part of God's soldiers, we are supposed to be praying. The first person on the list is Donna Crydren. She had surgery last week. She's in recovery now in Gaylord. I hear she is doing well. Better than expected. We have Ashley's Wells that we've been praying for. For her and her newborn baby coming. There's complications. She'll be in the hospital until it's delivered. Let's keep her and the baby under prayer and her family. Christine's granddaughter we've been praying for that has tumors. Keep her under prayer. Ben Hilton for a job that he's trying to get. Jerry Patterson got his job. Got his own apartment now in Florida. He has started a new life. It's hard on him. Let's keep him in prayer. The Stock family has been in through, through so much sorrow with death in the family. Then with Mrs. Stock having heart surgery and recovering now quite well. Let's keep that family in prayer. Let's, let us not forget about our Christmas lunch to keep that in prayer that things will keep going smoothly for us. That we will keep getting donations for the food and all the stuff we need to serve it with. The hall has been paid for already. Just so many blessings God is showing this ministry. And then let us keep praying for this internet ministry to, to touch people's lives, to give them encouragement throughout the week. And let us pray for a local ministry to start around here that we might be able to serve local people hands-on. And then we will be praying for the people who need prayer today. You might be one of them. Let us keep these people in prayer. Let us go to prayer now. Father in heaven, we thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for this time. We thank you for everyone who gathers. Lord, we have people to pray for today as part of being a soldier. Lord, help these people. Donna Chrysan, as she recovers, 
Ashley Wells and her baby is there in the hospital till delivery. Ben and his job. Jerry, Lord, as he starts a new life. The Stock family and their loss and the recovery of Mrs. Stock. Lord, we also lift up people who have not asked for prayer, but you know they need it. Lord, we ask you to touch them now, either in healing or understanding or in the wisdom they need. And Lord, we ask that you be with this ministry, help it keep growing and touching people's lives. And Lord, if it be your will, Lord, we're asking that we start a local ministry now in an area around us and be with our Christmas luncheon that we're planning this year, Lord, for those who have no family or friends to be with on that day. Now, Lord, as we get into the service, we ask you to be with us. Let the Holy Spirit guide me and let it be with the people to help under, let them understand. This we ask in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. In today's sermon, we're going to be talking about the army of God. Are you ready to battle for God today? In today's world, we have sin going on all around us more than ever before. It comes to us on TV, on the shows that we like to watch. Sin gets filtered into it little by little. On the computer, it's so easy that sin is there on everything. And the people around us every day that we go out to work with, go into the grocery store, go on a walk, go to church. Sin is everywhere around us. It grows and grows more and more. The Bible tells us that this is the way it will be. More sin all the time. In chapter 1 of Numbers, we see God telling Moses and Aaron to set aside an army of Israel, Israel men to battle for God's people. This is just as they come out of Egypt, they're in the desert. They, never, they were slaves. They didn't have armies. So now God has to have them go through, pick out certain men that will battle for him and his people. They're going to be marching around, going into different places. They're going to be evil around every corner. They physically had a fight. In Numbers chapter 1, Verse 2 and 3. Take ye the sum of the congregation of children of Israel, after their families, by the house of their fathers, with the number of their names, every male by their poles. Numbers 1 3. From twenty years old and upward, all that are able to go forth to war in Israel, thou and Aaron shall number them by their armies. In the New Testament, we really, we, we see that we are to battle for God today. In Ephesians 6, chapter 6, verse 10 to 13. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. In the power of his might, put on the whole armor of God, that thou, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against the powers, against the rulers of darkness on this world, against the spiritual wickednesses in high places. Then, in 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 3. 
Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. And then in 1 Timothy chapter 6, 12, Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Wherefore thou art also called and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. We can see, even today, we as Christians are to battle for God. We may not get the blood of others on us. It may not be physical. But we may have to fight for the rights of God, to stand up to others and declare we will not be moved. A lot of our fighting will be on our knees for others to be saved, praying, to change things around us, and so much more. God will answer his prayers of his children. Then there will be times when we will have to take a stand and not back down to others at work, our friends, at organizations, all around us. To tell people around us not to use God's name in vain. That's our Lord. That's our God. Don't curse his name. Or to tell people we don't accept that kind of behavior. As we see today, there are so many different kind of beliefs, different religions out there, different kind of lifestyles cropping up around us all the time. It used to be, when I was a kid, a lot of this was not allowed. It happened, but people stood up to it. Now, today, in the name of so-called peace, and love, we're scared to say anything about it. We're considered haters of that kind of behavior. This is the kind of army that God is calling us to. The battles we have to fight today. In places there are times where people will die for Christ. Other times, it's just to stand up and say, no, I don't believe that and I ain't going to do that. You are wrong. We may be called haters. We may be called all kinds of names. But it's our right too. Yes, we have sin all around us. We have to battle today in that sin to keep our children safe. But before we head into a battle, before we start the day, we must be prayed up in Christ. For without Christ before us, we are just blowing wind. We may be right in what we say and do, but only through Christ and his ways can we ever win a battle. So many people, good Christians, have gone out to stand up against something. But they left Christ out of it. They watered it down a little bit. So not to hurt too many feelings. Christ's way is the right way. We, all as Christians, play a part in this battle for God and his rights, and his laws. By our actions, by what we say, by what we do. You are a soldier for God. 
If you accept Christ in your heart, once you accept Christ Jesus as your Savior, you become a soldier. Now, there are many kinds of soldiers in the army. I served seven years in the army, American. And there are so many different kinds of jobs. It's just not people grabbing a gun and going out. There are so many people behind that person, behind the commander, behind the general. You have so much going on behind the scenes. And that's what God is. God is the whole army. He uses each one of us for something special. We have to find our purpose. We have to be led by God. The question today is what kind of soldier are you? Are you one that will stand up for Christ? Who will use Christ in your everyday job? Who won't be scared to let people know that you're a Christian? That certain things are not in your belief. You will not accept. Doesn't matter if you're a cook, a janitor, or if you're the president, or a senator, representative, governor, doesn't matter who you are, what you do. We all have to answer one day to God. We have to answer for our actions. Not just if we were accepted Jesus Christ as our Savior, but what we do after that. How we acted. How we brought others to Christ. What we really believed. What we stood up for. So today, take your stand in whatever God leads you to do. A great soldier follows commands of his leader. God is our leader. Through the King James Bible, Jesus Christ teaches us God's commands. Today is the day you decide if you're battling for God and what kind of soldier you are. Many today think you don't have to go to your local church. And there are so many local churches now that doesn't teach the whole Bible. You have to find the right church for you. Let God lead the way. Let it be a Bible-believing church. The Old and the New Testament is all together. As we start this week, let us do it in prayer. Let us decide to make a stand that we will not bend anymore. That we will say no to people. That is not allowed. Let us go to prayer now. Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this coming week that you have let us have. We thank you for the time that is remaining for us. Lord, help us stand for you. Help us do what is right. In whatever we do this week, whoever we will, be with. Help us, Lord. Guide us. Give us the strength and wisdom and the understanding to do what must be done. For you, in Christ Jesus' name, Amen.